Well, thank you. Uh, I, I, I thank you. I can't start without referring to the massacres. I think just briefly to join a list on one of the darkest and grimmest uh, pages of history alongside uh, the Battle of Wounded Knee, 1890, Amritsar, 1919, Sharpeville, 1960. All, in all cases where an indigenous population was massacred by settlers or colonizers. Uh, okay, now uh, I, I, my talk will be about why anti-Semitism, which is always in the background, although it, it, is, <laughs> uh, it is never uh, actually <laughs> been, been substantiated. Uh, I would like to start with a trick question. Uh, don't answer immediately, just think about it. Are there anti-Semites in the Labour Party in the left? <laughs> While you are thinking about it, I would like to ask another trick question uh, about an animal. The animal I'd like to ask you about is the spotted hyena. It is one of the least attractive animals in the animal kingdom. Okay? Now, the question is, and it is a question that is used by uh, uh, neurosurgeons for certain tests. Are there spotted hyenas in Norway? What do you think? If, if you answer no, then you may have something wrong with the frontal lobes. <laughs> this, is, this is what they use it for. Uh, uh, most people, after reflection, say, yeah, there are a few. <laughs> you haven't missed any. <laughs> okay, yeah, yes, there, there, there are a few, not many, uh, but if you hear of an expedition that has been organized at great uh, cost of money, time and effort, uh, and they're going to Norway, and you ask them, why are you going to Norway? Well, they say, we are spotted hyena spotters. We, we, we go there to spot spotted hyenas. Well, I think you would think that there's something wrong that they don't have a thing about hyenas, they have a thing about Norway. <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah, so uh, the, the, the uh, anti-Semite anti -Semite spotters uh, have not come up with a lot of uh, uh, results. I mean, a lot of people have been accused and insinuations of anti-Semitism has been made against them, but in actual fact, the, 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 the substantiation is very poor. And I mentioned uh, just a few cases, starting with myself. I wasn't expelled from the uh, 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 Labour Party and then reinstated for anti-Semitism, but while they expelled me, they made insinuations of anti-Semitism. Nothing, of course, they couldn't prove anything. Ken Livingstone, uh, again, I mean, all sorts of things have been alleged against him, but I mean, no actual anti Semitism has been proved or could be proved. Uh, uh, Jackie, uh, Tony Greenstein, for more than two years, he's been, uh, 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 I, I mean, uh, maligned as all over the press and so on as uh, anti Semite. In the end, he was expelled from the Labour Party, because they couldn't prove this, uh, uh, for rudeness. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, the same, I mean, Chilson uh, 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 was, you know, I mean, the, the, the proof was, I mean, it's just ridiculous what, what they produced the evidence against. Uh, um, uh, uh, who else? Uh, before I come to, to uh, Glyn Secker, again, accused, maligned, but nothing. Uh, so these are all the sort of high profile cases, ending with Mark, which is the most egregious case, because all the others made some reference at least to Zionism, which is sort of conflated with, with Jewishness, 
or I have written about Zionism, I've, I've explained why anti-Zionism is not anti-Semitism, but that was sort of uh, uh, supposed to be anti-Semitic, never proved, of course. Uh, I, I mean, he didn't even mention Jews or, or uh, Zionism or anything. He pointed out a sort of going zone between uh, 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 Labour MP and uh, Daily Telegraph uh, reporter, and he said, look what's going on there. And that was supposed to be anti-Semitic <laughs> because, <laughs> because the, the Labour Party, unbeknownst to him, turned out to be Jewish. So if you, if you accuse a, 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 an MP who happens to be Jewish of some, some shady goings on, that is an anti-Jewish conspiracy theory. <laughs> Okay, of course, you know, it was never proved. This is not, this is not why he was expelled. They couldn't, I mean, this is ridiculous. But the question is why anti-Semitism? And I, I, I have to be very brief. There are other speakers. I don't want to steal too much time. Um, uh, the, the drive, the, the, the search, you know, this, this you know, uh, spotted the inner spotting, uh, it, it has three groups that, that drive it. Uh, one is uh, the, uh, and they overlap. Some some people belong to either two or bo all three of the, of these groups. One group uh, is the enemies of uh, Jeremy Corbyn within the Labour Party, especially uh, the old Blairites, who you know simply uh, you know uh, for obvious reasons they they would uh, uh, latch on to any accusation. Anti-Semitism just happens to be around f because of the other two groups uh, and, and, and they exploit it. If it was, let's say, uh, uh, pedophilia, they, they would latch on to I, I assure you, there are pedophiles in the Labour Party. <laughs> how, how do I know? How do I know? I know statistics. I, I even taught statistics. <laughs> On statistical grounds, it would be, it would be astounding if, if, if in the what 600,000 mem members of the Labour Party there weren't a few pedophiles. I mean, according to you know, so simply the law of, of large numbers. I mean, it must be. So, uh, 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 if there was a big, you know, campaign hunt for <laughs> pedophilia in the Labour Party, big. Uh, then, 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 then these enemies of, 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 of Jeremy Corbyn would actually join, join the hunt. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so, but they don't, they don't care, fuck all, about uh, Jews, Arabs, anti-Semitism, Zionism. They, they <laughs> but, but the other two groups do care. Yeah. One is actually driven not from here, but from Israel. And the, the, uh, uh, the, there's a whole ministry in the Israeli uh, government that is uh, supposed to uh, do this, you know, dirty tricks, accuse uh, um, opponents of Israel, critics of, of, uh, uh, critics of Zionism with anti-Semitism. They are becoming desperate, and you can see why. I mean, today, it is out in the open. People are getting a little bit, you know, uh, critical, let's say, of, of, of Israel. But this is not, this has now come out, you know, in a big way, but it, it started a few years ago. People see what is happening. So uh, they uh, have appointed the minister, he is one of the least attractive ministers in the present Israeli cabinet, which is saying something. <laughs> His name is Gilad Ordan, and he is he's minister of three different things, but one of his, one of his uh, uh, role is Minister of Strategic Affairs. And uh, this is how uh, it's been reported, it's been reported in Israel. He has asked for his ministry to be exempt from the, uh, the, the uh, uh, freedom of information law in Israel because what we are doing, he says, should be hush-hush. Uh, and they are, they are active all over the place, they've got a big budget. And the way they work, and the way, for example, they work all over, they started before Corbyn or anybody else uh, thought that he would be leader of the Labour Party. They started in various places, but when he became a uh, leader, then, you know, they, 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 they sort of uh, intensified their activity here. How they work, 
I, I needn't tell you in, in detail, I just urge you to watch the Al Jazeera programs, a, a series of four programs that were shown in January uh, uh, last year. If you haven't watched it, go and watch it. It's, it's good fun to watch, extremely good, I mean, better than, than most fictional uh, uh, thrillers, but uh, also very instructive. So that is, that is uh, uh, one uh, group of people. And the third group of people are a, a, a major part of the establishment. In the Labour Party and outside the Labour Party, in the media, in the Conservative Party and, and all around, the, the establishment in other words. What they are worried about is here there is a, a leader of the uh, biggest party in, in uh, Western Europe, the, may, uh, the opposition, the may, main opposition party in Britain, who might even be prime minister. And uh, we are living in a time when war is on the agenda. I need hardly convince you that there is a, a danger of war. How big it's going to be, uh, uh, we don't know. We hope not, you're not too big, but uh, uh, there's going to be a war which can be a major war in the Middle East. And uh, this uh, war uh, is likely to be led on one side by uh, Israel's uh, uh, major partner, the Israel's protector, uh, 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 sponsor, the United States, and joined by, or, or the, will be invited to join all the, the members of what is known laughingly as the international community, which used to go under the name of the free world. And this time, the intervention is not going to be probably so much as um, under the, the, the banner of humanitarian intervention, but uh, prevent a second holocaust, prevent, defend Israel against a second holocaust. They don't want uh, the uh, 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 Labour Party to be led, and possibly the British government to be led by someone who will not toe the line. So this is where it's coming from. And uh, uh, need I say more, uh, we have to expose these people and uh, don't, I mean, the, the worst thing to do is to appease and capitulate. And uh, I would just like to end by Defend Mark Wadsworth. Don't let him be out of the Labour Party. Demand his reinstatement. <laughs>